Today, our flash side talk will focus on sustainable development goals and how universities can help accelerate in the progress toward achieving the targets set by United Nations by 2030. Our guest today is Jan Atli Benedictson, Rector of the University of Iceland and Professor in Electrical and Computer Engineering in the same university. Professor Benedictson is also President of the Aurora Network, a network of nine leading European research universities, united by the commitment to match academic excellence with creating societal impact. So welcome, Professor Benedictson. I'm delighted to have you here today and to share your perspective on this very important topic. Thank you so much, Rosetta. It's my pleasure welcome. to be here too. Let me start with the very first question. So what role do you think universities and research institutions can play in accelerating the progress towards achieving the SDGs? I believe that the universities are in a unique position to support progress towards the SDGs. The SDGs are based on mapping the main challenges facing humans today, and these challenges will not be met except through measures based on information and knowledge. The purpose and goal of universities is to create and share scientific knowledge, which in its nature is public and without borders, a common property of the human race. Universities therefore bear particular responsibility they must step up and take a more active and leading role in this area. Universities should be at the forefront in addressing the grand challenges of the SDGs. The leading international research universities of our times have the potential to be international powerhouses in terms of dealing with the catalog of the SDGs with their research activity, innovation capacity, and teaching and learning. The SDGs address complex problems that require multiple perspectives and actions from all parts of society. For research, how important is to encourage more interdisciplinary approaches? And how has your organi organization addressed this? And I invite you to talk on behalf, of course, of the University of Iceland, but maybe also from the Aurora Network. Thank you. Uh, the challenges addressed by the SDGs are not specific to a single topic, but universal and directly call for the interdisciplinary collaboration. For a long time, there has been a lot of discussion about the need for more interdisciplinary collaboration in universities, but I have a feeling that we are still too entrenched in methodological and institutional niches from the past. It is my belief that we urgently need to overcome these obstacles. The University of Iceland is now shaping a strategy for the next five years and the search for new and unconventional channels for this interdisciplinary collaboration will be one of the key focuses for the new strategy. And I believe this will be the, this is the same for the Aurora network. So interdisciplinarity is the key for the future. It is often argued that research is primarily written for fellow researchers, often becoming lost in translation when reporting in the media or used to inform policy decisions. What can academics do to bridge the gap between research, policy, and informing the wider public? If I may refer to the history of the University of Iceland, it is remarkable for the fact that the university was established in the early 20th century by a sparsely populated and impoverished nation on the margins of the inhabited world, a nation with a big dream. In just over a century, the university has expanded and thrived, educating a huge number of specialists in all fields, which laid the foundation for a modern, democratic, educated welfare state among the best in the world. Academic staff members at the University of Iceland are incredibly active in sharing science and knowledge with politicians, industry and public. For example, last winter, the university organized an open lecture series on the SDGs, which was very well attended by professionals and the public and received a lot of media attention. 
Another example of this is the University of Iceland's direct involvement with a response to the COVID-19 pandemic. When the pandemic began early last year, scientists at the university treated it as a call to do their bit for society. For example, population statisticians at the university have created a special model to predict the development of the pandemic and close collaboration between the university and other institutions, institutions, uh, I would specifically mention healthcare institutions, has led to a large number of research projects, which hopefully will provide knowledge, enabling us to be better prepared to face similar crises in the future. That sounds really great and awful. There are many ways we can look at solving the SDGs. Some solutions are focused on taking a global approach. Others require new partnerships and collaborations or finding a local perspective and context. What approach should researchers be taking when addressing the SDGs? And can you give an example of what you think has worked well? I think it's vital for researchers in all disciplines to collaborate at all levels local, national, European, and beyond. As mentioned before, the problems are complex and we need different key actors to come to the table, including third parties like industry and other institutions. International networks of universities are excellent venues that can contribute a great deal to achieving the goals of the SDGs. The University of Iceland, as an example, as you have mentioned, is a member of the Aurora University Network, which since its establishment in 2016 has been committed to work together on the SDGs with an interdisciplinary approach across institutions and across borders. This collaboration has recently been extended to the Aurora Alliance which is one of the European universities selected in 2020. The Aurora Alliance consists of nine research intensive universities that are deeply committed to societal impact and with a long history of engagement with their communities. We are very excited to be one of the European University Alliances and the funding from the Europe European Commission will allow the Aurora Alliance to focus on structural and strategic cooperation within the SDGs in both teaching and learning and in research and innovation. So finally, I have the last question for you. To finish our discussion on a positive note, what final words would you like to share about how we can all help to accelerate progress towards achieving the SDGs? As uh, indicated before, the challenges facing us are not local but global, and to solve them, we need a global scientific approach. I believe that the COVID-19 pandemic has showed the world beyond a shadow of a doubt that the education and scientific knowledge are by far our most powerful weapons against these challenges that we must tackle together. We must continue to impress this fact upon politicians and the public. Thank you, Professor Benedictson. I, I really, I'm totally supportive of your final words on the role of research and knowledge um, for progressing the sustainable development goals. So I thank you. I thank the University of Iceland, but also Aurora for being really active in this scenario. So thank you again for your time today. Thank you so much, Rosetta. It was a great pleasure to talk to you and uh, wish you all the best. Thank mm -hmm. you.